James chapter 1 verse 12. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because, having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised. Commitment speaks to knowing God. Because God is faithful, and God is true, and God never changes. To be Christian, is to be Christ-like. Christ is committed, we need to be committed as well. Be a full-time Christian. Not a part-time Christian. Not just acting like we're Christians. But behind closed doors, we're really not. James chapter 1 verses 7 to 8 told us that if you are double-minded or unstable, if one day trusting God, next day trusting the world, do not even think that you will receive anything from the Lord. Most Christians want convenient faith more than a faith of conviction. Conviction is a part of commitment. Faith is not passive. It is not just a nice feeling. But faith is a force that changes your life, and changes your world. Faith is empowering, and moves us into an abundant life. Faith is never the last resort. Faith should always be our first step. If you have faith as a mustard seed, like a seed, faith is growing, sprouting, active, and alive. But when a seed is dormant, nothing happens. The only unstoppable force in the world, is the force of faith. You may pray for lots of things, in many different ways. But pray these three words, Lord, I believe. It is the most powerful prayer. Two things have to happen for faith to work. First, you say it. Second, you believe it. Say it with your mouth. Believe it in your heart. Faith is working. We need to talk to our problems, not only talk about our problems. If you are saying the negative, you are using faith, but in a negative way. Don't say the things you don't want. Stay committed to what God says, more than what the world says. And your faith will grow. And then you can overcome every challenge, with faith that is living like a seed, which is active, going, and growing.